What's up, family? Man, I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you guys today. Man, this is going to be... Um, it's going to be what it's going to be. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Man, if you know. You know what I mean? If you know. Man, we got to grow up. We have to grow up. Man, get out so much, man. If, if, if you're chosen one, why do you call yourself that? You know what I mean? What makes you chosen? You know what I mean? There's so many people asking what makes you feel like you're chosen. You know what I mean? I get asked that a lot. You know, how do you know you're a child of God? You know, you say you're a child of God. How do you know you're a child of God? You know, uh, how do you know you're anointed? How do you know that you're called? You know, that, man, God has favored you. That God has chosen you. How do you know this? You know what I mean? And they come with this arrogance of who the fuck do you think you are? Oh, we going in today. This is a grown folk channel and it is what it is, man. If you don't like it, man, this may not be the channel for you. You know what I mean? If you don't like real conversations, real heart to heart talk, you know what I mean? I'm on this channel, man. We don't sugarcoat shit. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't. You know what I mean? Man, it is what it is. You know what I mean? We have to grow the fuck up. You know what I mean? We have to grow up and stop talking like we fucking grown. And yet we got the emotional capacity of a fucking infant. You know what I mean? We grown as men, grown as women, don't know shit about our fucking emotions, can't control our fucking emotions. You know what I mean? Don't know shit about who the fuck we are. We could spit and talk about everybody else, but we don't know shit about us. Oh, we're going there today. We're going there today. And we're going to talk about the Bible and Jesus, too. And I know that's going to piss some of you off. And again, I don't give a damn. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. Man, <laughs> but we get asked these questions all the time about being, using the title Chosen Ones. And I know there's a whole lot of, my, a lot of people using it. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. A whole lot of people call themselves a fucking man, and they ain't, they ain't close to a fucking man. You know what I mean? A whole lot of motherfuckers call themselves bosses and queens and kings, and they ain't nowhere near that. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? I don't give a damn. The whole lot of motherfuckers talking about they God's people, and the motherfuckers ain't God's people at all. I don't give a damn how many scriptures they quote. I don't give a damn how many times they go to church, how long they've been going to church. That don't make you a child of God. You know what I mean? None of that. I don't give a damn how much money you give in tithes and offering. That don't make you a child of God. So, we get asked that. And it's a trick because I used to sit back and I used to think about that. It's like, damn, why are all these motherfuckers coming at me like this? You know what I mean? Well, stay with me. going somewhere. Why are all these motherfuckers coming at me like that? You know? Oh, if you're a child of God or if you're a chosen one, how come you going through whoop, through, through whoop? If you're a chosen one, how come you got that, 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 that going on? And if you're a chosen one, how come that, 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 that is going on in your life? And I really didn't understand that. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. I promise you that. And I really didn't understand that. It's like I was having a conversation with God the other day. I'm like, God, chop this up with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. And he took me to a scripture in the Bible. It took me to a passage in the Bible. Jesus went on to the wilderness before his ministry started. I fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And we talk about that passage and we overlook the great majority of it. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere today. I promise you that. We talk about that passage and just glance at it. You know what I mean? We don't really break that down. And break it down to how it correlates to our lives today. We talk about Jesus going out into the wilderness. But we don't understand the symbology of his wilderness and our wilderness. See, your wilderness may not be a desert. Your wilderness may be, man, my relationship just ended. Your wilderness may be, man, I just lost my job. Your wilderness may be, dang, a close family member, a loved one just passed away. 
your wilderness may be, dang, I got this illness, this disease, and I can't shake it. See, your wilderness may not be the same as Jesus' wilderness. But it's a wilderness nonetheless. It's a desolate place nonetheless. It's a lonely place nonetheless. See, your wilderness may be, you may be in a relationship, you may be married to somebody who's dogging you the fuck out. Your wilderness may be, you're in a relationship, you're married to somebody who ain't really interested in you. They don't want to spend time with you. They don't value you. Your wilderness may be you got grown ass kids with this entitlement mentality and you've done all that you could for them and they're still telling you that you ain't shit. And they're trying to make you feel like you didn't do shit for them. So we're going there today. I promise you that we're going there today. And this is going to trigger some of you. You know what I mean? This is going to fuck some of your feelings up. You know what I mean? And then this is going to set some of you off on some shit. You know what I mean? But it's to help you grow. It's to help you heal. So Jesus wilderness, he's out there in the desert all by himself. 40 days and 40 nights. And while he's out there, not eating, not drinking anything, the story goes, the devil comes. In the process of him being out there for 40 days, he hasn't reached 40 days yet, but in the process of him being out there, the devil comes. And he asks Jesus, man, I know you hungry, bro. If you the son of God, like you say you is, there's that question. Just like these motherfuckers, oh, what makes you a chosen one? What makes you a child of God? What makes you a nun? All oh, that stupid ass shit. Same shit. Same fucking shit. Same fucking energy. Same fucking energy that came to Jesus and asked him in his wilderness, in his lowly place. See, you don't eat for a few days, man. You ain't got the strength that you normally have. You don't drink some stuff for a few days, man. You ain't got the energy, the strength that you have. You're at a low place. Spiritually, you're high, but physically, you're weakened. Your body has been broken down. You don't have the energy, the stamina. You don't have the ability to do what you normally do. You don't have the capacity to be able to do things that you could normally do real easy. So the devil's asking Jesus, man, if you're the son of God, if, if, he's questioning his Godhood, if you're a chosen one, if you're a rainbow warrior, if you're a light worker, if you're a healer, if you're a beacon of hope, if you're a beacon of light, if you're a beacon of truth, if. You're the child of God. If you're the son of God like you say you are, man, turn these bread, these rocks to stone and eat. Because you know you're hungry. You know you're famished. If you're so fucking powerful, then change your fucking circumstance. If you're so fucking powerful, then command these rocks to be made to bread, turned to bread. If. And the trip is that same fucking negative, in, quote unquote, negative energy. It's you're running the world today. And they're coming and asking you if. If you're a light work. And the trip is you got to be careful. You had better be very careful because. Sometimes we'll go through some shit and we'll ask ourselves, man, God, (laughs) 
if, if you love me, why am I going through this shit? Not if I'm chosen. What the fuck is this shit? God, if, if you, if you called me to do this, then why is it so fucking hard? Why are all these people coming after me? God, if, if I'm one of yours, why am I being attacked so much? If I'm one of yours, why am I so fucking lonely? God, if I'm one of yours, how come I'm so fucked up financially? If. God, I'm doing everything that I can do. I'm doing everything that I know to do. God, what the fuck is going on? How come these raggedy motherfuckers got people in their lives that love them and worship them and adore them and do anything for them? And these bitches out here hoeing around and sucking everybody's dick and running through the fucking community. And these raggedy ass fucking dudes got these beautiful fucking queens who worship them. And these motherfuckers is beating the shit out of them. These motherfuckers is running through every woman in the town that they can. And I'm over here. I'm faithful and I'm loving. I'm compassionate and I'm giving. I got a job. I got a place to stay. I'll do anything for my fucking man. And I can't get one. Not the one. If. I see if I have you fucked up on some shit. If I have your frequency fucked up. If I have your energy vibrating on a low level. If. If I make you doubt your motherfucking purpose. If I have you doubting your motherfucking self. That question, if. It'll send you down a rabbit hole. If I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I'm not lovable. I don't deserve this. What's wrong with me? And we have to come back to the realization that you had better know who the fuck you are. See, another thing that the devil said, if you're the child of God, Just bow down to me. And I'll give you all the fucking kingdoms you could see. I'll make you rule over every fucking thing you see. If you would just bow down. If you would just bow down. If you're so fucking powerful, just jump off this cliff right here and command your angels to catch you. And see, that's the trick. Motherfuckers ain't really about shit. Motherfuckers on that low frequency always want to be fucking entertained. They always want you to do some shit to prove some shit to them. Motherfucker, I know who the fuck I am. I ain't got to prove shit to you. Who the fuck are you that I got to prove some shit to? What makes you fucking God on that I got to submit and surrender and do some shit to entertain your ass to prove to you who the fuck I am? How about we change that? Yes. If you don't get your monkey ass on my fucking face. If you don't take your raggedy ass and get the fuck up on out of here. With that bullshit. You got me fucked up. Because I know who the fuck I am. If. See. 
you have to know who you are. You have to know who you are. You have to have put in the time and the work to understand who you are. And when you know who you are, you ain't got to prove shit to nobody. When you know who you are, you ain't got to get caught up in your fucking emotions. And want to take shit physical. When you know who you are. You allow these motherfuckers to say whatever the fuck they want to say. When you know who you are. You don't get caught up in your feelings. And get scared. And get intimidated. Because these motherfuckers just talking all that wolf shit. You don't start doubting yourself. You don't start questioning yourself. If. We got to get it together. We have to get it together. It's amazing how. And again, I'm not a Christian. At all. Don't want anything to do with organized religion, any of them. But there's so many great teachings that has been fucked up. There's so many great teachings that if properly understood would give us greater insight into who the fuck we are. And why we're here. If. If the teachings was taught properly. Organized religion wouldn't be the way it is now. If the teachings was taught properly. The world wouldn't be as fucked up as it is now. If the teachings was taught properly, people wouldn't sit in Christianity and these other religious groups depressed, suicidal, angry as fuck, bitter as fuck, hateful and racist as fuck. If. But it is what it is. And it's going to be what it's going to be. We have to grow up. We have to know who we are. And when you know who you are, you have all power. I love you guys. Man, I hope and pray that I've said something to, to bless you, to encourage you, to challenge your way of thinking. To get your wheels spinning on some stuff. Man. We got to get it together. We have to get it together. We have to stop talking the talk. And start walking the walk. (sighs) I thank you guys for being part of this tribe. I thank you guys for being part of this platform. And just, just being here on this beautiful journey. That we call life. It's an amazing journey. It's a painful journey. But it's beautiful and magical at the same time. I love you guys. Happy healing.